Hello. In this exercise session, we're going to focus on the sides of our body because that is where many people have the hardest time accessing movement. We'll need a chair and a pillow eventually, but for now we're just going to start standing. We're just going to start with your feet, which people tend to not be aware of that much. We're going to start with you just going to lean your hip out to the side. You're going to feel how the body weight comes more to the outer edge, the pinky toe side of that foot. And then return. Just same thing again, same exact side. Hips go out to the side, mm -hmm. that's right, and then return one more time. Again, hips go out to the side, feel your weight come onto the outer side edge, the pinky toe edge of that foot. Now try the other leg, lean the other way, hip goes out to the side, feel your weight come to the outer edge of that other foot, and then return. Again, the way you're leaning, you're going to want to the outer edge of that same side foot as much as you can, and return, and again, easy, hips lean. Feel the weight come up to the outer edge from the pinky to the heel of that foot. Let's add on to that. Go to the other side. As you lean, feel the weight come up to the outer edge. Now, try and lift up the inner edge, the big toe side of that foot. And we're the same side again. Hips lean, pinky toe edge comes really bent down to the floor. Try and increase that sensation by lifting the big toe and heel bone on the inner side of that foot. And one more time. Again, lean the hips out. Lift the inner edge of the foot up and the outer edge down. Then release. Let's go the other way, other leg. Hips go the other side. That foot, the pinky toe edge comes down a lot. Try and lift up the inner edge of that foot, the big toe to heel bone, and release. Hard to do with sneakers, but if you need to plant sneakers, that's fine. You can still do in some sneakers. Just be careful of the height of the sole because that is really um, far away from the floor. And if there's a slip or something, it's not going to be that great. Easy, breathe, take your time. That's right, lift the inner toe edge of that foot up. Yeah, that wasn't so bad, all right? Now, take your feet just a little further apart. When the hips shift the other way now, sorry, your hips are gonna shift the other way. You're gonna come on to the pinky toe edge of that foot, but now focus on the other foot, the opposite leg of the hip that you're leaning away from. Just feel that, and again. Hip leans out, focus on the hip, the leg that you're leaning away from, and return. Again, so hip goes one way, focus on the leg you're leaning away from. Just think about that. Return, other side. Hips go the other way, focus on the leg that you're leaning away from. And then return, breathing. Hips go the same direction they just did, focus on the other side leg, the one that you're not standing on as much. Again, easy breathe. Uh huh. Bring it back. Hips go the other way, more information. As the hips lean out, focus on the leg that you're not standing on as much. Lift the pinky toe edge of that foot up and return. Same thing. Hips lean to that side, the leg you're not standing on. Big toes edge down, pinky toe side up and then return. One more of those. Again, lean away, big toe side down, pinky toe side up. Great job. Return. Hips go the other way now. Lean away, focus on the leg that you're not standing on as much. Big toe edge down from pinky to heel bone tries to lift up off the floor and then return. Again, big toe edge down, pinky toe side up the whole foot and return. One more time. Just take your mind there. Yes, the foot you're standing on is going to be doing a lot of other things. That's okay. Yeah. And then return. Good. So now let's just focus on our feet. We're not going to push the hips out as much. You can focus on lifting the inner arch of both feet, so from big toe to heel bone together, then release them down. See, you have access to that, now you know where it is. Inner edge of your foot lifts up, and release down breathing. Again, pick up the inner edge, the big toe side of your foot, and release. Now here's the harder one standing, and I get it. There may not be a lot of movement. Lift up the pinky toe edge from pinky to heel bone. You can think of squeezing your thigh bones together to help you, and then release. Again, lift the pinky toe edge up. Big toe edge comes down. Pinky toe edge lifts up. And release. One more time. Again, big toe edge down. Pinky toe side up. Great job. Release. See? That wasn't so bad. You're trying to have access to your foot moving side to side. Now, adding things together. Hips press out to one way. Lift the inner of one foot and the outer of the other in whatever way makes sense to you, but the feet are doing opposing things. And then return. Same direction again. Just repeat that. Hips go out. Mm -hmm. The pinky toe edge of one side lifts. The big toe side lifts as well. And then return. Easy breathe.
breathe. You'll feel how when hips go to that side, the big toe edge of that standing leg is easy to feel lifting. So it lifts the pinky toe edge of the opposite side. And then return. Let's go the other way. Hips travel over. Let your feet rock in really the only way they naturally can. And then return. You're just encouraging that motion and trying to allow it to have it encourage it to have just a little bit more. And then return. As the hip shifts over the same side, foot, the big toe edge lifts up. The weight of the leg that you're not with so much weight on, the pinky toe edge lifts up. And now we're going to go side to side. Go to one side, rocking your feet gently. And then return. Then the other side, rocking your feet gently. Great job. Return. Knees can be straight or a little bent, whatever works for you. Side to side. Easy breathe. One place people really tend to lack strength on is in their ankle in this kind of motion. We tend not to have strength, flexi flexibility, rank, whatever you want to call it. We tend not to be strong in our ankle in this side to side pattern. And focusing on it can really help build not just a good experience, but also strength and endurance long term. Specifically when it comes to balancing and trying to not fall. Mm -hmm. The range of motion of your ankle is really, really foundational. And then one more time as you go across. Great job. And then bring it back to center. See? Pain free. Nothing to it. So right there, you can feel how all that motion really translates into a strong awareness to your foot and ankle. Now we're going to add on to that, of course. When the hips go one way, rock the feet like we just practiced, and you're going to let your head and torso bend away from the leg that you're standing on. So I'm bending over the leg that doesn't have a lot of weight and return. Try to keep your eyes, shoulders, chest, hips facing forward directly like you have headlights on your eyes, shoulders, chest, hips, and knees. And then return. Easy. Just let the body rock. Don't focus on extreme range of motion. Just let your head, neck, and torso tilt side to side as your feet rock like this. Easy, taking your time. Gentle, easy breathe. That's right, that's very good. One more time, breathing, just facing forward, trying not to look down, it's very easy to look down and or twist your head. That's a natural compulsion people tend to have. Great job. Now you're gonna keep the rest of your body, so we're gonna focus on your head and neck for a little bit. Right, so looking forward, standing tall, let one ear come towards the same side, shoulder. Easy, try not to look down, look forward directly as much as you can comfortably. Then slowly return. Then let the other same side ear come to the same side, shoulder, we switch sides there. Easy, looking forward directly, gently, and then return. Again, just let one, the other side, ear to shoulder, shoulder just relaxes, easy, and then bring it up, and again, ear to shoulder, gentle, shoulder away from ear, take your time, mm -hmm. one more time each way, great job, you'll feel that the more you do even something like this, you'll feel how your neck gets stronger and stronger and go further and further comfortably. It's going to take a while, and you're also going to feel how one side is not going to feel like the other, and that makes you normal. Great job. And bring it back up. So let's add that big, bigger head and neck motion into what we just practiced. Hips go one way. Head leans away from the hips. Let your head and neck tilt to the side a lot like we just practiced. Be kind to yourself. And then return. And then go the other way. Easy. Hips translate, feet rock, breathing. Really nice work. And then return. Again, rock the feet. Hips go over to the side. Head goes away from it. Breathe. That's right. Easy. Breathe. Taking your time. Really encouraging those feet to rock onto the sides of your foot there. Easy. As far as you don't fall, you can always hold on to a chair if you need to, or a wall, or something solid. Easy. One more time each way. Take your time. Rock and lengthen, strengthening. Great job, bring it back. Everything facing forward, try not to look down. It's very tempting to look down. It's a natural impulse. Yeah, bring it up tall and rest. So you can feel how you're already enlivening the sides of your body and what a wonderful sensation that can be. We're gonna add a little arm motion in. All you're gonna do is have your palms facing each other. You're gonna make fists 
and then you're going to point your fists so your knuckles can come together. You can see how that, if you want to do more of that, that naturally bends your elbows, bringing the back of your knuckles and back of your palms together as much as you can. And then release that. And again, easy. Curl up. Gently. Take your time. Go as far as your comfort. Return. Uh -huh. Like an octopus picking up food and bringing it toward its beak. Easy. Nice and tall with your body. And return. Again, easy. Breathe. Really great job. Now, just one arm by itself does that motion. That's right. And then try the other arm by itself. That's right. Really good job. Return. Again, curl up. Breathe. Very good job. Release. Uh huh. Curl up. Mm -hmm. Release. Now you're going to try the same exact thing, but you're going to curl up behind your body. Feel free to let your arm rest on your torso there to get some more range of motion. And then release. Curl up. You can use your arm walking up the body a bit and return. So you can make tactile contact with your torso, with the back of your body, to help that arm have a bit more range of motion. Because without touching your back, you might not have the strongest range of motion. Sometimes you can touch it, you get a lot further. And that's all. We're, that's all. That's the only reason for that. Easy curl. And that's right. One more time. Easy curl up. Great job. And rest. See, it wasn't so bad. Now, let's add it in the arm curling up behind you. As the hips go to one side, the head goes away, the hip presses into that arm, that arm's gonna curl up behind you. Breathe, really great. And then release it. Then we go the other arm, it curls up behind you. Uh-huh, so my head's reaching away. That's, uh-huh, oh, that's right, you got it. Very good job, return. So as my hips press over to the side, they press towards the arm that's curling. My head leans away from the arm that's curling up. And then return. Again, easy. Curl up behind you, looking forward, eyes and chest. Really great job. Take your time. Easy. Curling up, breathing gently. Uh, really rock. The arches side to side. Be gentle, no falling. Easy. Curling up. Really great job. Mm -hmm. Side to side, curl up behind you. Breathe. Really great job. Now, this, keep going like this. You know how I am. Breathe deeply. That's right. As you do this motion, you might feel like this free arm that's down and wants to do something. You can pull the fingers back and press the floor down to help you get more range of motion. Easy. That will encourage you to side bend more on that side by think of pressing the floor down as you curl the opposite arm up. Easy. Press the floor down, curl the opposite arm up behind you. Very good job. Easy. Curl up. Rock on the sides of your feet. Easy. Curl, rock. Really great job. Mm -hmm. Easy. Breathing. Push the floor. Curl over. Now, you can also curl the arm up in front of you. Breathe deeply. Easy. You can also curl it up in front of you. And the next one, you can try and curl behind. Yeah, isn't that fun? And then you can try and curl the arm behind. And you can curl up in front again. Easy. Breathe. Just because it affects your shoulder and neck differently, where the arm goes in front and or behind, you can go behind. Yeah. Uh-huh, and then bring it up nice and tall. And you're gonna feel how that is really energizing to the sides of your body, and that is a lovely, lovely, lovely sensation. Right, now we're just gonna grab a stool here. And like we always talk about, when you're sitting, you should be able to have your knee joint below your hip. If that doesn't work for you, sit on a cushion, elevate the seat, so that that can happen for you easily. Now we're gonna add on to this pattern in a sort of different way. You're going to slide one leg out to the side, and you guessed it. You're lifting the pinky toe edge of that foot up as much as you can with a leg being long. The other foot is just wherever it's comfortable. You may only have one sit bone on the bench, not two, and that's fine. The sit bone of the long leg may not be on the bench, and that's okay. Great job. Now, we're going to side bend towards that long leg side, lifting the outer arch of that foot up. And you can feel how that, that makes a bigger sensation to your sore torso on both sides, right? That both sides feel different. Again, ear to shoulder, shoulder away from there, eye, shoulders, chest facing forward. 
That's right. And return one more time. Again, easy stretch, reach, lengthen. That's right. And bring it up tall. Now we're going to switch to the other side. The other leg goes out long. The pinky toe edge side of that foot is lifting up. Big toe edge side down as much as you can. The sit bone of the long leg side may not be on the bench. Totally orthodox. And as you bend, let your head, neck, and shoulders bend up and over towards that long leg side. Keep lifting the pinky toe side of that foot up. Ah, it's not juicy. Again, take your time. Pinky toe edge lifts up. You are side bending over that leg gently. And then return one more time. Again, easy, side bend. Use your arms or legs to help you support. Really great job. Bring it back up and then switch sides again here. Mm -hmm. Now, the same side arm is bent knee, opposite arm of the long leg. It's going to reach up and over with you. Your palm can face the ceiling. That's great. Ease. Uh huh. And then return. And again, lift the pinky toe edge of that foot up. Let your head and neck go over to the side. Eyes, chest, hips, uh, shoulders facing forward. All of these things. And smiling, have a good time. Oh, does not get much better than this. Easy. Keep lifting that outer edge of that foot up gently. You got it. And then return. Now we're going to switch sides here, please. Other leg long, pinky toe edge of that foot up. The same side arm is bent, knee is up, palm can face the sky or not. Lift your body, bend up and over towards that long leg side. Let your head and neck and shoulders go away. That's right, and then return. Again, easy stretch. Other arm can be supporting on your leg here, on the outer thigh, that's fine. Easy, let your head go with you. High shoulders, chest facing directly the board, trying not to look down or twist. Easy, lengthen, reach up and over. That was really great. We're going to do one more time each side, just like that. Nothing else is adding on. Stretch over, reach, reach, stay here. And then reach a little further, pulsing to release one more time. Reach further, really great job. And then bring up and switch sides here. Reach up and over, pinky toe edge up, three, great job. Reach further, two, oh, that is great. Reach further, one, what, you want to do it again? That makes two of us, here we go. Easy, stretch up and over, three, looking forward, gently. Two, stretch, chest, reaching up and over, uh-huh, one more time. Again, lift the pinky toe edge of that foot up, easy, three, really great job there. Two, mm -hmm. one, and then bring it up nice and tall. Oh, that was great. Let's just fold over and bring your chest down towards your thighs. Chin to chest, let your arms be resting on your thighs or dangle down towards the floor. Whatever works best for you. Oh, that feels so nice to rest. Easy. And when you're ready, slowly take your time. You can use your hands and legs to walk your body up. Rolling up. Nice. And done. And we only have one more thing to do here. I know, it's very, very sad. I agree. You can still use your stem, whatever your stool, whatever you're on, your bench, chair, cot, whatever you got going on. Now, the cot is on one side. The opposite side knee of my cot side, chair side, is down. All right? All right. Front foot on the floor. It's not a foot thing here, so just do what works best for you. You're going to let your hips lean away from the chair as the non-chair side arm goes up and over. And this is a huge stretch for your waist and hip area, so be gentle. And then return. Take your time. Again, the palm can face the ceiling or not. Stretch up, and I'm reaching up and over towards that chair. Four. Notice that my hips do go out a little bit, but I'm going mostly up and over to the chair. That's why the chair is going to support you. Right. We only got two more times there. Easy. Reach up, over, lengthen, stretch. Two. That's right. Mm -hmm. And return one more time. Again, reach up. Over, lengthen, stretch up the eyes, chest, shoulders facing forward. You got it. And then return, of course, when you do on one side, you want to try and do on the other, even though they're going to feel different. It's important to have similar moves side to side. Right? So we have the opposite side of chair side leg, knee down. 
If kneeling is not comfortable, you can totally do this standing with your hand on a wall or something, totally groovy, right? Lift the same side arm up as the knee that's down, opposite arm of foot that's on knee that's forward. Use your chair or support system, whatever you got here. Reach up and think of stretching up and over that chair like you're fording a stream. Easy, jumping over a little creek uh, or creek, wherever you might live. Again, exhale, reach up and over. Eye, shoulders, chest facing forward, four. Really great job. And then return, really nice. Again, stretch up, over, lengthen, breathe, and three. That feels so good. Mm -hmm. And return, just two more, please, gentlemen. Really great. Easy, breathe, stretch, up, over, lengthen, two, that's lovely, uh-huh, see, further, 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 ooh, tantalizing, stretch, reach, imagine if you moved a little bit differently every day, how much more of yourself you'd have access to, yeah, and bring it down, let's have one more soup. seat on the stool, soot on the stool, I'm not sure what that means, your legs can be as close or as wide apart as you have comfort, closer is more intense, Chin to chest, just slowly bring your chest down to your thighs again. Taking your time, let your head be heavy. Easy. Hands can be on your thighs or reaching down your legs, your choice. Just give your lower back a little bit of stretching here. Mm -hmm. You did a lot of work today. And slowly, when you're ready, you can walk your hands up your legs to support you all the way up. Nice and tall. And there you have it. That was great. I hope you enjoyed this sort of patterning of your nervous system. When you're speaking to your nervous system, it's really interesting because part of it is learning patterns. There's that part, talking to your nerves, neurological system in terms of learning. But there's also moving the nerves. When you're moving your body, you are moving your nerves and they are going through a range of motion that's really good for them to practice. There's a lot going on there. Regardless, thank you so much for joining me. My name is Eric. This is Nucleus Strength. I look forward to exercising with you in the future. You always in good health. Take care.